Uh, open this public meeting. It is 1201 and uh, we are here to discuss, review, consider fee increase for Shoshone County Solid Waste Transfer Station. At this time, I would entertain a motion to go into a public hearing. Open a public hearing. Um, motion to go into a public hearing. Well, this is my public hearing. This is Okay, a motion to go into public hearing to discuss and consider fee increase for Shoshone County Solid Waste Transfer Station. Okay. Okay, I'll we'll second. Okay, roll call. Commissioner Cassidy? Here. Commissioner Dose? Yes. Commissioner Zimmerman? Here. All right, so we're in a hearing, so let me run through the, um, the hearing uh, uh, rules, signature sheet if you want to speak today, if not for staff, but for, for the public. Um, Please don't speak until recognized, although I do recognize everybody in the room. I know you. I know you. Okay. Uh, don't interrupt the speaker. Uh, see, we'll, we'll set uh, two minute time limits for um, conversations uh, for the uh, public input. Once the hearing is closed, no further evidence or testimony can be presented. And so, at at that point, we would go to the staff report. So, Richard, that's you. If you guys would like to explain to us what you're proposing. So, this all started with um, our wood pricing. So, it used to be that we would stockpile our wood up at Government Gulch and then chip it and have it hauled off. Um, we lost our site up at Government Gulch. We can no longer stockpile up there. So we were going to process the dimensional lumber in our air curtain burner. But per our air quality permit, we cannot do probably 75% of the wood that comes in. We can only burn clean dimensional. Uh, no plywood, you know, nothing with paint, nothing with glue, nothing like that can go into it. Um, and that's that's per the DEQ air quality permit. Um, so we are the majority of our wood is going into our waste stream now, and so that is going into our our trailers and being hauled over to Missoula. So we have to make up for that cost. Um, what is proposed is eighty five dollars a ton per clean wood and um, $145 a ton for mixed loads. When we sat down and did the cost breakdown, we realized that our mixed load was well under what it should have been for quite some time. So that's why we're proposing the increase on our mixed loads also at this time. Okay, and can you help us to understand for the public uh, how you derive these fees? Uh, it's all broken down um, between wage and benefits, the cost of our trucks, the cost of our trailers, um, the cost of fuel, which has just been absolutely killing us. Mm -hmm. um, it keeps going up uh, no matter what we budget for it. It doesn't seem like it's enough. Um, the cost just keeps going up. Um, our trucks are actually uh, more fuel efficient than they have been in the past, so we have that going for us, but it's not helping. You know, I, when the cost just keeps going up dollar, 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 we, we can't keep up with that. Um, but then also, on top of that, it's cost of our equipment, cost of our to maintain our equipment, plus tires, our short haul trucks, our bins. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot that actually goes into breaking down all these, you know, to justify the $145 a ton. Yeah. Okay. And the $85 a ton, just to be clear, that that's wood that we're going to burn? No. So that would be the wood that's going over to Missoula. So we will pull out two by fours, two by sixes, dimensional, but it's so little of what can actually be burned in that thing. The majority of the wood that's coming in is getting pushed into our trailers. 
Uh, we will be pulling out the dimensional because it will help us to get our fires going. You know, it'll be great kindling, essentially. You know, so that stuff will be going into the burners. But to be honest, it's such a small percentage. So what's the, what do the what besides lumber? What else are we burning? Grass? Greenwood. Greenwood. Yes. Um, so the the biggest point to this air curtain burner with DEQ. DEQ is pushing for um, air quality here in the valley. Um, okay. All of the brush that comes into our site, we we open burn up on Polaris. And, you know, this, uh, this air curtain burner is supposed to be, you know, heads and tails above air quality wise, you know, open burn, of course, you know, because you don't have any of the, the smoke or any of that stuff coming off. Um, I mean, if you'd like to come up and check out our piles up at Polaris, they are considerable. You know, I mean, we, uh, yeah, and we've and had- what we'll be able to burn in this burner? Well, what's already up there, we're gonna burn in place okay. because it would cost us way too much to load and bring it back down. Um, so that stuff will burn in place, but once we start using our air curtain burner, then all of our green wood and dimensional will start going in. Do you think we'll get a lot of use out of this? Oh, the uh, the air current burner should be running roughly on average three days a week. So it's really going to help us with air quality. It's not really going to help us with reducing the loads to Missoula. Much. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Okay. All right. So you've given us a breakdown for 145. And eight and eighty-five. Any questions on on the breakdown itself on the pricing? No, I didn't. So, so basically, it be, behooved the public to to sort their, their lumber before they come down. Yeah, so so a lot of money. Yeah, one hundred and forty-five a ton for mix. So if they throw throw uh, painted wood in with green wood and stuff like that, they're going to get charged 145 bucks, Absolutely. but if they load it with just their dimensional, it'll get considerably cheaper. Yeah, yes. And what it costs a lot for yeah. you guys to go through it and sort it. Absolutely. Right now, really. Yeah, yeah, our time, you know, I mean, we don't, we don't have the manpower. We don't, no. we don't, we don't, you know, our biggest thing is our floor space. Our floor space is so small, you know, trying to sort this stuff and trying to keep up is what is so hard on us. Mm -hmm. And especially when you have the public who are impatient yeah. and they don't wait and they try and cram themselves in there and we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's it's a lot with those guys up on the floor. And in the summertime, it's, it's almost like we're short, too short staffed yeah. because there's everybody's doing either demos or remodels or and then all those bins are coming in and our guys are having to sort it and on top of you know, directing the traffic in so that they don't drive into the trailer. And if they're just, it's the impatience. And there's a lot of rude people who come in. I, I came up in the truck one time and I sat in line and waited because the floor was full. They had a garbage truck. There was a guy in front of me who needed to get to the floor. They told him to stop. I had the guy behind me started to go around and I leaned out and I'm like, you need to stop. And like, you don't just cut in line. You know, it's like everybody's going to a different spots and sometimes everybody's going to the same spot. You have to have patience. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a huge thing. And what are our current prices on wood? Current prices on wood are forty dollars a ton. Clean or mixed. It, if it's if it's okay, how can I explain this? If it's mixed, so right now clean wood would be dimensional and plywood and painted. That would be considered clean wood right now because that stuff used to be chipped. And so that other stuff didn't really matter anyway. Right. You know, um, mm -hmm. so the difference now would be between a clean load and a mixed load would be dimensional only would be clean. And then everything else, you know, if it had plywood in it, that would be a mixed load. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So we would be changing the verbiage on that also. Okay. 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 Yes. To, to what we've been discussing. Yes. Okay. All right.
right. Um, do we have any further clar clarification questions from the board before we move on to other testimony? No. Okay. Like Anything further from staff before we move on? So, so now we would have testimony by supporters, then by neutrals, then by opponents. Would, would you like to speak on one of those categories? <laughs> yeah, I support it. Uh, the only thing I have a question on is, is that you got 40% benefit. In most counties, departments are 50 to 60 cents on the percent. Yeah, so we I might have been below on that then. We, we kind of did a breakdown on average is what we did. And uh, so, yeah, so really, we're probably coming in below still. And, you know, yeah. we still don't want to shock the public and... Because we're, we're going to get the recourse of the whole thing. No, I understand that, but it's kind of a, uh, you use it, you pay for it. It's not passed off to the other taxpayers that aren't hauling wood in there. Well, and that's just it. And this is a user fee. And that's that's what I mean. Yeah. It needs to cover it all. Yeah. Not uh, because if it doesn't, then Jeff is going to pay for my wood. Yeah. You know, a percent of part of it because... We haven't charged enough for it. You know, that's the only question I have. We'll see after a year. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments? No. All right. Uh, anything further before I close the hearing part? Okay. Then I would uh, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Hearing. So moved. I'll second that. And we'll roll call. Commissioner Cassidy? Here. Commissioner Dose? Yes. Commissioner Zimmerman? Here. All right. Now we're to commission deliberation. No further uh, questions or evidence can be admitted. We just have to deliberate. So do you have any thoughts on this? No, I think it's a good deal. I think, you know, it's, it's going to save the taxpayers money themselves because basically they're paying, they're they're paying, they're paying for subsidizing yeah. the wood that, that's being hauled away. So I think it's a it's a win-win. It may be a cost to the, the user, but that's mm -hmm. the cost of business. The cost of oh. being a user. I support the user fees and so yeah. okay. good place to start. Yeah. Any further no. comments? I'm, a, I'm, I'm sorry that we have to raise fees, but uh, the alternative is the taxpayer taking it. And that's not acceptable. So I think I'm going to have to support this myself. All right. Um, Everybody has shared their thoughts. Nothing further. But entertain a motion. Whatever is your pleasure. A motion to approve the fee schedule for um, Shoshone Solid Waste at $145 per ton for mixed loads and $85 per ton on, uh, on dimensional lumber. Would you consider adding to that with the new definition of clean and mixed? It's a part of your motion. Um, so I would add to your motion that going by the new definition that he's just explained to us of what clean wood is and mixed. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So we have a motion. I'll second. Any last discussion? Nope. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. The fees will be changed to 85 and 145 effective immediately. Okay. That right. would be my next question. Okay. Um, we are, at this point, I think we are finished. So with that, I will close this meeting. We are adjourned.